It looks like Rockstar Games has officially teased GTA 6. And in this video, I will talk you through everything you need to know about it while keeping the video as short as I possibly can. That and way more GTA 6 news. It has finally happened. The UFOs have arrived in GTA Online. And the very first tease to GTA 6 is already in the poster. So Dylan on Twitter noticed that the car inside of this poster is the same car which was found in the GTA. 6 leaks on the exact same road as well. Coincidence? I don't think so. Because the very first time that GTA 6 was hinted at by Rockstar Games was through the GTA trilogy where an image was replaced by a house in Florida, Miami, which was also surrounded by UFO painting. Something also very suspicious about the GTA Online event is that the UFOs are not just disappearing right away. Now these UFOs stay around, you will make a picture of them, send them to Omega to get some extra RP and money. That's why we're expecting way more teases and hints in the upcoming days. Rockstar Insider Test 2 also states that October is usually the month that these big announcements happen. Like for example with GTA 5, Red Dead Redemption 2 and even the GTA Trilogy. And it looks like Rockstar Games is now teasing us even more through the official PlayStation Plus game catalog, which includes Grand Theft Auto Vice City, the definitive edition, to of course tease us even more and create hype for the upcoming GTA 6 game taking place in of course Vice City. We've seen marketing tactics like this before, like for example Need for Speed Heat, which is the previous Need for Speed title. It was completely free to play in September to increase hype for the upcoming Need for Speed Unbound, releasing on December 2nd and that is exactly what these people publishers want. So not every one of you guys actually know this, but Rockstar Games was just hacked again. But first, I want to talk about the mother company of Take Two. After the intrusion at Rockstar Games, there was also a second Take Two company, which also got hacked, which I covered in an earlier video, which was 2K. If you remember, we of course had the hackers sending malicious software to all the customers. 2K has now confirmed that yes, indeed, personal data has been stolen. So do not open open any of these 2K emails and don't click on any links. So recently, Take-Two CEO Strauss Zilnack also said that the acquisition of Activision Blizzard by Microsoft is a good thing. He says, well, it's up to consumers to vote, of course, but because of the highly fragmented business and there's plenty of room for creativity to go around, if this makes their business more powerful, we think that's a good thing for us. While we, of course, also know that Take-Two themselves are unlikely to be acquired. So when it comes to Rockstar Games themselves, Social Club has been compromised. In Social Club, it is possible to create crews with friends in GTA Online, but now hackers can compromise the account. The hacker will turn off two-step authenticator, disable the account, and also delete the crews. So this time, the hacker is not looking for ransom. It is actually someone that wants Rockstar to fix the support account stealing exploit. And actually, lets this know on certain accounts. So if you do own a social club account, the best thing you can possibly do is change the password. Social club was first announced in 2008 and definitely needs some security measures. In my previous video, I already discussed the GTA 6 live stream where we can hear more about the annual reports of Take 2, but of course also will receive more information about GTA 6. Take 2, the mother company of Rockstar Games has officially stated this live stream will take place on November 7th and after the recent hackings they have of course loads of things to explain to their investors. Also a few more new maps have been created with more detail where we can already see certain locations where we see where the beaches lay and it looks just absolutely beautiful and very tropical. The most accurate image is of course the scale and comparison of GTA 6 and GTA 5 and we see that GTA 6's map is about 50% bigger bigger than the map in GTA 5 that we currently have. If you want to learn more about the GTA 6 map and the open world of GTA 6, make sure to check out my Grand Theft Auto 6 Vice City the introduction video. Halloween has also started in GTA Online where you have to find the 10 Jacko Lantern locations. 10 collectibles will actually get you the pumpkin moss and all 200 of them to receive the pumpkin t-shirt as well. That and of course way more Halloween items. 
systems. And also a brand new car in GT Online is the Ubermacht Reinhardt. This week, there's also double money and RP on the Slasher event and also the Alien Survivals. And of course, still all the GTA Plus benefits. If you like these short to the point videos, which are not dragged out all the way to eight or 10 minutes, make sure to hit the like on this video. If you're looking for a channel that covers everything you need to know about GTA and open world games, feel free to subscribe. And also don't forget to turn on all notifications to do not miss out on my daily GTA 6 videos. There's two more videos on the screen, one for you to click on. My name is Cheese, I'm out. Peace.